Ant-Man is the newest film by Marvel Studios and it stars Paul Rudd and Michael Douglas. And the main plot line for this film is that Hank Pym, the original Ant-Man, recruits Scott, played by, my, played by Paul Rudd, to be the new Ant-Man and to stop Darren Cross, who used to work with Hank from recreating a serum that gives the same powers as Ant-Man and what Darren Cross wants to do with this is create the yellow jacket and use it for military use and when he eventually is able to recreate the Ant-Man serum for the yellow jacket, Ant-Man must now fight against yellow jacket to prevent the to prevent his plan from going through. Some positives that I liked about the film were Paul Rudd and Michael Douglas's relationship. They play two good characters in the film, and they also have some similarities, because in the film, Scott Lang becomes Ant-Man and says that he's only doing this so that he could see his daughter. And while this is going on, Hank Pym has is trying to reconnect with his daughter in the film, because their relationship wasn't really good when she, in the past, so he wants to reconnect with her. And the overall, the movie, I enjoyed it. It's funny. Some people will say, and it is kind of true, but I didn't really care about it, is that the villain in this film kind of has the same plan as the villain from the first Iron Man movie, you know, recreate it, recreate the suit or whatever and use it for evil, but I really didn't mind it at all. And... One of the funniest characters in the film was, I, I don't know what his name is, I can't remember, but he was Paul, he played Paul Rudd's friend in the film. He was pretty funny, and Stanley, Stanley's cameo was also hilarious, and they do feature an, an Avenger, a member of the Avengers does come out in this film, so keep an eye out for that, because that was a pretty good scene, and also... There are two and well, there is a post credit scene and an end credit scene. So, if you like, if you enjoy watching those end credit scenes, I suggest you watch them both because they're pretty good. And overall, I'll give this movie a B. It's good. The only real negative I kind of have to say about it is the fact, you know, that they use this is that the the villain in this film has the same objective from a villain in a previous. Marvel film, but that's easy to overlook, so, yeah, but anyways, if you love Marvel's films, you'll love this one, so, yeah, that's it for today, guys, and I'll see you next time.